For most of us, driving takes on several different meanings. Opening the door, starting the engine, and heading down the road. But for one Liberty University student, driving took on a whole new meaning this past weekend as he participated in the Daytona 500. When Wallace was a freshman, he was a community group leader on this floor right here in Commons 1. He lived in this room, 737. The Sherman Antitrust Act of 1890 eliminated any possibility for organizations participating in interstate commerce to become monopolies. CFAW stands for College for a Weekend. It's a time when prospective students have the opportunity to come and experience college life. On March 20th, Nathaniel Wallace was arrested for sexual assault of a Liberty University faculty member after a night of drinking. Wallace was a junior on pace to graduate next December. He is currently banned from campus. When Wallace was a freshman, he was a community group leader on this floor right here in Commons 1. He lived in this room, 737. We had the opportunity to speak with some people who knew him very well that year, and they all shared the same sentiment. They never expected him to do such a thing. Wallace was just your normal aeronautics major. He could always be seen hanging out on the floor wearing a light brown leather jacket studying his flight paths for the next day. Nathan was a really nice kid. Um, a little odd maybe at times, but uh, he was always kind. He uh, seemed to maybe nose himself into my business that maybe wasn't his, maybe a little too much, but nothing really too bad. As a community group leader, Wallace had the job of mentoring and discipling a group of guys on the hall. However, his reach expanded beyond the guys in his group. Nathan Wallace is probably one of the most stand-up guys that I remember from my freshman year. Very, just always like, hey, warm, asking you, how how you doing? What's going on? Just, you know, very, seemed like a very godly Christian guy. Now that Wallace has been arrested and charged, Many of his former friends cannot believe the person he has become. He obviously demonstrated that he was a guy that could lead people. And he obviously just now demonstrated that he was a guy that couldn't lead people, which is, uh, that's always surprising. With WQLU News, I'm Jason Pro. The time of the year has come where high school seniors are choosing their prospective colleges. For those considering Liberty University, Many of them attend what students call CFAW. CFAW stands for College for a Weekend. It's a time when prospective students have the opportunity to come and experience college life. They stay in dorms, go to classes, and even have the opportunity to eat at the infamous Reber Thomas Dining Hall. We had the opportunity to sit down with current students and reminisce about what their CFAW experience was like. Liberty puts their best foot forward during CFAW weekends, and many prospective students take notice. For many, this is the deciding weekend for choosing a college. So I visited Virginia Tech and UVA, um, and I liked them, uh, and then I visited Liberty once, uh, and then when I came for CFAW, like the whole weekend basically like sealed the deal for me. Um, so that was like the thing um, that made my decision so easy was CFAW. Visitors are fully immersed into campus life for the weekend. For many, this exposure helps provide a better understanding about what Liberty University is all about. The people I stayed with were super nice and we stayed up talking until like two o'clock every night just about Liberty and about other stuff like that. And they really helped me like make a decision. The highlight of the weekend comes in the form of a concert or sporting event. This is what a lot of the students remember most. It was just so much fun to like experience a concert and like for cheap and I, I was thinking to myself like they literally do this all the time in combo so I don't know it was like so much fun to experience that. For WQLU News, I'm Jason Pro. On the next game on, see how a love of music and softball helped one athlete end up at Liberty University. Then we'll get you caught up on the happenings around Flames Nation, including the tennis team playing for a conference title. All that, plus the segment that brings America together. Warm, hot, and fuego. We will name this week's top Liberty athletes. You can watch it all right here, online, anytime, at GameOnLU.com or on social media at GameOnLU. 
On the show today, we give you a behind the scenes look at one of Liberty Basketball's tournament practices and hear from the players following their game against Virginia Tech. Plus, we get you caught up with Liberty Baseball, Softball, Hockey, and Lacrosse. It's a jam packed show, and it starts right now. It's been a solid first year in the A Sun for Liberty Tennis as a whole, and with winning comes recognitions, and there was no shortage for Liberty. In case Muambo was named A Sun Men's Tennis Player of the Year, Josh Wilson becomes the first A Sun Freshman of the Year in program history. Jeff Marin, the ladies' head coach, was named A Sun Women's Coach of the Year, leading the Lady Flames to a regular season championship. And more accolades for Liberty Basketball, this time for Director of Basketball Operations, Chelsea Mangino. All that winning would enable the Flames to compete in the big dance for the first time since 2013, and the Flames wouldn't disappoint. Liberty's first game against Mississippi State would be a barn burner. Caleb Holmesley would be the story in this game, as he would lead the Flames back from a double-digit deficit in the second half, scoring a game-high 30 points in the process. Liberty would advance to the round of 32 with their first ever NCAA tournament victory, winning 80 to 76. They would then have to face in-state foe, the Virginia Tech Hokies. This would be a tight game until about the three minute mark in the second half when Nikhil Alexander Walker would hit a three to give the Hokies a 56 to 49 lead, a lead they would never let go of as the Flames end the season by a score of 67 to 58. 